Hey, and welcome back. It's me, Gon, and today we're going to pick up where we last left off on Polybridge. It's been a little while for me, um, but here we go. We're going to get uh, Farmer Pete and his family across this bridge, and we're going to use this awesome tool. I don't know if I have introduced. I think I did. And it's... What is it? The tracing tool with the fill, which is just totally freaking awesome. It makes my life easy. We got the rid grid off because I hate the grid. Grid hates me. It's a mutual hate. But it's alright, because all that matters is getting Farmer Pete across to his windmill so he can churn some mule butter, if that exists. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, man, I don't know why I think of these things. But <laughs> that bet somewhere ex it exists. But anyways, this one's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to do a simple arching pattern. And we're going to use the steel beams for support. And we're going to have them all crooked, because fuck it. We like it crooked, I guess? I don't know. I'm kind of lazy, and we'll straighten it out as we go. <laughs> the beauty is we get it all set up and then we'll fix out the minor details and just always keep tweaking it. That way we have the best bridge possible with the least amounts of money spent and we'll try to get like all the achievements that we can get, you know, like like meet the budget requirement and try to really push this bridge to the limit. You could really like make a song about it, like a rock song pushing that bridge to the limit. You should, and I should listen to it all the time. But anyways, we'll get this bridge and we're gonna do the same thing on the top. We're just gonna you know, do a simple over-the-top bridge, and if we really want to get fancy, we'll kind of do it, make an archy bridge. I think we can get away with that. I think I did it before. I can't remember. It's been a while. I played these levels, like I said in the last episode. I pre-play them because otherwise you're gonna spend like an hour watching me try to figure it out. Because sometimes I just literally don't figure it out right away because you know, like hydraulics work a certain way, and I just don't know. And then Farmer Pete doesn't always give the best advice. He just goes, it's too far away. And I'm like, God damn it, Farmer Pete. Why can't you tell me the tricks and the trades? Because he's not only a mule farmer, he's also a bridge architect, surprisingly. Just like us. Anyways, here we go. We're going to nail this in there. Bam, bam, bam. And we haven't had to use the back button lately too much, which is that cool rubber ducky noise. But that's probably a good thing. Anyways, so here we go. We got the arch. We're going to do that fancy arch. We're going to straighten this bad boy out. Because honestly kind of a perfectionist. A little teeny bit. Not too much. I try not to be, but it runs in the jeans, I guess. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> it fell. Uh, why did it fail? There we go. We'll do that, and we'll kind of straighten it out. Why you do this to me, Bridge? This don't make no sense. It worked before, I swear. Or do we have to do large ones on the bottom? I can't remember. But there was a little trick. We'll see. As long as we stay under budget, we're about 10k under now. And I wish, you know, we could just use all steel. Because <laughs> honestly, that's how I would build a bridge. A steel bridge. There we go. Let's see if the van just ploops. See ya, Steve. <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta make these bigger too. Oh well, I tried. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. I still remember the pattern, but I don't necessarily remember the heights. But I like that. That was cool. Watching Steve's family crush Steve and plumb them to their death in the ocean waters. We're gonna hang out with Tugboat Todd and then do drugs because Tugboat Todd is a big drug dealer. See ya, Steve. <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> he's downstream, if you know what I mean. There we go. Let's... Oh man, these all look so crooked. That's alright. I fucking hate the grid though. The grid, it snaps way too much. But the shorter the beams are, the less money we spend, which is a good thing. Alright, Steve and his family. I don't know how you got up there. But good job. Alright, they made it across. Good work, guys. All right, we almost made it into that second tier of least spent, but 3,757, I'll take it. All right, next level. Oh yeah, this one's pretty cool. This one is kind of neat because they both leave at the same time. We have to catch the star, and then we have to deliver them. So these, <laughs> these are delivering special meals to Pete the Farmer, that famous mule farmer, him. You go, Pete. All right, mm, no, I don't like that. Rubber ducky that one back. I want to make this bridge so it just catches the tip, just the tip <laughs> of these stars. And I think we should be good. And then hopefully we can keep our expenses lower that way. And then we'll put a steel beam there and a steel beam there. And then we'll do what we do over the top bridge pattern. It seems to be like the default go to, but when you're transporting mules two at a time, <laughs> you know, anything goes. So, all right, let's get them there. And then boom, boom. And then we'll just do the over top, make it as quick as possible, and hopefully... Eh, that doesn't look that even. 
But there we go. That looks a little better. And then now, I think we should be able to beat this one. No problem. Oh, shit. No. I remember now. We gotta do this. This one's weird because it put a lot of stress on the frame initially. Oh, rubber ducky backwards there. Jesus Christ. We'll do that. And then uh, this should do it. I don't know why this side holds up a hell of a lot better than that side. But it just crunches. And I like to make the little crunch sound they make. It sounds like you're eating like a potato chip as you're driving. So we're two grand under budget. And I'll take it. There you go, Pete. We're saving you money. So you can be the best farmer that you can be. All right. So this one... It's kind of interesting. We got a huge ass tugboat, and his name's, uh, I don't know, Cargo Ship Charlie. There we go, and uh, he's gonna come down, and we have to move the bridge. This one drove me insane. But the ice cream truck's gonna go over there, and then A2 here. He's gonna turn around. I don't know why. I don't know why Pete needs ice cream, but he does. So let's not question his methodologies. We're not mule farmers, and we're not as successful as he is, because honestly, I don't hire ice cream trucks to come to my house. Maybe one day I will. That'd be cool. I would dig it. Anyways, so the thing is, we gotta have to do a drawbridge here. So we're gonna have to. Ooh, it's tricky. Uh, I forget. We have to move this one back. Gotta move this in the center, and we're gonna have to delete this one. And we're gonna have to create a double thing here. So uh, we'll have to do like this and that. And we'll move this back, move this back. And we need this in the center. And we gotta move this dude back too. And then we'll move this. And it's kind of straight, but the cool thing is these trucks can kind of go over those bumps, luckily. I know, like, the station wagon is, like, vertically stupid, and that's all right. Because whoever drives the station wagon might be vertically stupid as well. <laughs> that's terrible, but sad but true. Anyways, here we go. We're going to do this. We'll straighten these out, because, I don't know. I don't like them when they're not straight. And then, I think, let's do that, that. Still not straight enough for me. All right, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. And I think we might be able to get away a lot here. So let's keep doing this. Straighten these bad boys out as well. And I think this will be enough support because the hydraulics are going to play a big key role here. And uh, they're going to be what really keeps this bridge standing up. There we go. That is so crooked. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty bad. But anyways. Get these there. We need to line these up with that. Thank God for that little like crosshair. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this to this, and then vice versa on this side. We're just gonna boop, grab some rope, and we're gonna hit a split here. And I want to say that's gonna be enough. And I think, yeah, I think it is good. So this one drove me nuts because it took so many tries. As I tried just using little bridge pieces here to flip up. We gotta move the whole bridge. And then this tugboat Charlie here, who is related to tugboat Todd, who is, this is his drug dealer, comes straight up from the Amazon, loaded with cocaine. And then uh, they do a trade, meth for coke, and you know, they, they give meth to the cocaine farmers so they farm faster and vice versa. So the coke so the meth dealers make coke faster, or something like that. It, ooh, we're over budget. That's not good. Replay, real quick. I think we can get away with a smaller bridge and we can just sit right in the money then. Right in the money. Ooh, we still gotta go down 900. All right, what could be the thing here? Smaller bridge, smaller bridge, come on. You can do it. Because these hydraulics have a lot of strength. Hmm, smaller. <laughs> this might not work. The bridge might just give out on us at any given moment. There we go. Hmm, I swear to God I did this under budget. Well, shit. For 300 over, the bridge is still holding up quite well. It's not hitting that max capacity. And we know the bridge is going to work there. So we are going to do this even smaller. To the point where we save enough money, hopefully. I don't know. So I'm about to say, screw it, and let's move on to the next level. Because it's going to collapse. Collapse. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's beat it real quick and then just call it a day. I don't know. I swear to God, I beat it under budget, but at the same time, this one drove me insane, and I'm not too worried about it. I think we can get away if we put the hydraulics, like, on this one. We might be able to. That could be a way of doing it. We don't really need the rope. 
I, the longer the hydraulics, the more expensive it is, I've noticed. And that's alright. Not too worried about that. Alright, good enough. 500 over. You're welcome, Pete. I <laughs> got you that ice cream you needed for Billy the Goat here. And then that looks like a dwarf. You know, like a, a horn, like from Lord of the Rings. But it's really just a piece of wood with an axe in it. So I just expect uh, whatever that guy is from Lord of the Rings to come over and blow the horn. But whatever. Anyways. Ooh. I forget how I did this one. This one was kind of neat, though. If I can remember how to do it. So we got eight roads, which we have to do just perfectly because <laughs> they have to do their thing to make it happen and we have to use some hydraulics and honestly I forget how it works but I think we pull this bridge up and then he drives down I don't know it's weird yeah I think we want the fill tool here and then we'll connect there you'll see it there's a method to my madness no oops we rubber duckied prematurely <laughs> all right here we go fill this in right here and then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bridge here like halfway to here and then we're gonna have hydraulics push it down and then he's just gonna ride over to that sounds like a plan let's do it all right can we oh we could be one bridge less that'd be kind of nice um I'm gonna expand. Okay, we're gonna have that be the break point, and I think we want to go with a under. I can't remember. I should have practiced level before we took it on as a challenge. I'll just connect these up and then straighten them out. There we go. So I don't think we need to move this one at all. That's the good news. And I think this one needs to be held up from up here. So. We'll and then we'll do like a spider joint. No, we don't want to do that. Shit. This is going to be a disaster. Watch. This is, they're going to get it. Ooh. Not bad. See you, Steve's. <laughs> they both fell. I think what we can do is <laughs> significantly reduce the expand of this. And then that might be old enough just to have him roll down. And then we could uh, get away with it. There we go. Check that out. He did it. <laughs> Way under budget, and uh, actually it's kind of cool. I like that way the best, because now we got like this awesome decoration up here. Look at that. That is bridge art. It's beautiful. Anyways, we hit 5,000. I'll take it. I am not going to complain about that. All right, so we're on the next level, and it uh, looks like we got a school bus, some camels, and a wagon, and a giant ravine that we're going to have to cross in the next episode. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button below. It always helps me, you know, be motivated to make more of these videos. And I will catch you in the next episode. See ya. As long as they keep draining all these, I think there might be some oil left in there. A smidge. Can't even notice it. Holy smokes. Yes. $1.50. We really just overdid it. If that hits $150, I'd be impressed. That's the highest amount I've ever seen. $149. Holy smokes. And everybody's finally grabbing the oil. We, we hit the jackpot there, where we you know, topped off our tankers and then put it all. And we'll keep selling it to him until he equals or surpasses it, or the dollar fifteen cut off. I think that's a good way to go. And honestly, uh, I don't know how big this is.